Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stream to multiple streaming services at the same time. Let's just say, for example, you want to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, all simultaneously. You can do this using this online service. This online service is called Restream.io. Links are down in the description down below. The first thing you want to do is create an account, and then I'm going to be showing you step by step how to set everything up. So once you've signed up and verified your account through the verification email that they send you, you're going to be granted to this screen. So the first thing you should do should be come over to the right hand side and we're going to select the server that's closest to you. So for me, for example, it's EU West and it's the London Great Britain server, but you should select the server that's best suited for you. From here, you're going to be able to add your channels over here. So for example, we can add our streaming services such as Twitch, YouTube Gaming, Beam, Hitbox, and a bunch of other services that we're going to be able to stream to simultaneously through this service. So adding services is really easy. So say for example, we want to add Twitch, simply click on the Twitch, connect to your Twitch account. And if you're logged in already, it will automatically connect. All you want to do is authorize and your Twitch will automatically be connected. Now, of course you can add other services to this also by going back to our dashboard, clicking add channel on the top, and then selecting the other services you want to add. So currently I have two services selected and you can activate which services you're going to stream to at the current time by turning them on and off here simply by clicking the little tab to the right of the actual streaming thing. And it's really easy to just set up and get everything up and running. So now that we have our account created and we have our streaming services connected, I'm going to be showing you how to change some of the settings we can change to the actual stream and some other little features that stream.io has that are really, really helpful. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to titles right beside our dashboard. And this we're going to be able to change our general settings such as the title of the stream and we're going to be able to update them on all platforms or just individual platforms by coming to edit on the right hand side you can name it the actual game for twitch and some other services depending on the service you're streaming to if we come back up to the top we can click on social alerts and here we're going to be able to activate to our twitter and facebook and send out a message that when we are live and it will automatically notify our users and followers that we are streaming at that current time and our final feature is the chat feature which we can come up here to the right which automatically shows you the chat from each of the services you're looking at. Now, really thankfully, Restream.io has an actual app available for Windows currently that will merge all of these chat services together. And this is where I'd recommend if you're streaming to have a second monitor, that you can put it up on the second monitor. It's a really, really nice feature that I can just combine everything together. And Restream.io really just has everything locked down. It's really, really awesome. Now I should mention that this is the actual free version that we're looking at currently, but if you come up here to the early bird 30% off special, you can tell that currently on the basic version you can stream to 30 platforms, but there are some other versions that you can use to upgrade to get some more features, and I'd recommend checking them out if you're really, really into this. So now that I've showed you all the features and how to get everything set up, I'm going to show you how to actually do the streaming. So what we're going to want to do is come back to our dashboard and on the right hand side, we can see that our stream key is here. Now, of course, you don't want to share the stream key with people. So I'd recommend grabbing your stream key. And then what you want to do is open up whatever streaming software you use. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how to use OBS, but of course you can use other streaming softwares if you wish. But for this instance, I'm going to be showing you how to use it with OBS. So once you open up OBS, we're going to be coming to our settings in the bottom right. We're going to be going to stream on the left. And on the latest version of OBS, Restream.io is already activated as a service. So click on Restream.io, enter in your stream key, select your server, hit apply, click OK, and then start streaming. So once you start streaming in OBS, if we go back to Restream.io, we can see that our streaming services are currently connecting. And since some streaming services have a longer delay than others, you will notice that they connect at different times. But if we give this a second, we'll see that it connects pretty quick. So as you can tell, if we come back to our Restream.io, you can see that we're streaming to both services currently. It will show you a quick preview up on the top right. You can even unmute and mute this if you wish. And we can see all of our chat services if you download the app. And it's very easy to set up and it's just like that. Now, of course, I did show you how to use this in OBS. But of course, you can use this in other streaming softwares if you wish. OBS is just one I would prefer and one I would recommend. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you're going to stream down below and I might check out your stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to leave some playlists in the description down below that might interest you also if you're watching this. I'm also going to leave two videos on screen. The one on the left is going to be my most recent upload. And the one on the right is going to be one that YouTube most suggests that you will watch. So you should probably check it out because it's apparently for you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always, keep it saucy. Peace.